Hi, this is Michelle Grigsby, and would you like to know a great tip on how to stand out on social media? Well, this is a really good one. Basically, what I want to do is I'm going to share with you a story first. Four years ago, I joined a network marketing company. I was so excited. I created a new Facebook profile, and I was posting so much wonderful information, how wonderful the company was, how amazing the products were. Nobody was asking me about joining my company or buying my products. How crazy is that, right? Right? Well, not only that, but when I was sending friend requests to people, a lot of people weren't even accepting my friend requests. I wonder why. Well, now, fast forward a few months, I realized after I invested in some coaching and learning about attraction marketing, that if all you're doing is talking about your company and your products, it actually is repelling people instead of attracting them. But no need to worry. I'm gonna give you three things to think about every time you do a post, okay? This is it. Does your post educate, inspire, or entertain? Okay, what do I mean by that? First of all, telling information about what your products do is not educate. In other words, if you're just talking about the, the product itself or the company, you want to run, you're running the risk of people actually going to Google and learning more about the products and finding an internet marketer that might steal them as a lead, or they might go to Amazon to buy the products. Instead, what you want to do is if you're going to educate about your company or about products that your company offers, you want to do it in the form of value. For instance, if it's a weight loss product, you want to give maybe, for instance, three tips on how to lose belly fat, by the way. And then you can say, by the way, if you want to learn more information about how I can help you with that, get in contact with me. And then what you do is you then take that as a private conversation. You want people to ask you about your business, not you pitching them, okay? What you're doing is you're providing value, and the ones that appreciate the value are the ones that are gonna join your business and buy your products. Another type of post is inspiration. I love to post inspirational posts in the morning because usually people are scrambling to get ready for the day, and that's usually the best time to give them inspiration, especially on Mondays. That's why the trending hashtags on Twitter is Monday Motivation and Motivation Monday because people need inspiration. They don't want to go to work, right? So usually in the morning, people don't have time to read a long post. So I usually just do a really quick inspirational post to give them a boost for the day. I usually get tons of engagement with that, okay? In the middle of the day is usually when I do a uh, educate and I usually do Facebook live videos in the middle of the day and I'm giving social media tips that's providing value to my audience and then another one you guys is entertainment I usually do my entertaining posts in the evening because usually later in the day people are ready to decompress they want to maybe do a little puzzle or try to figure out something that's on a post right and so those are usually the best times I get the best engagement so once again does it educate, does it entertain, or does it inspire? If it doesn't do one of those three things, don't do it, okay? <laughs> Just saying. All right, I hope you got value from this. Be sure to visit me at onlinewithmichelle.com for more tips, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. We'll chat with you later. See ya.